Okay, we perform the DGPS positioning mode. Now let's explore. Mm -mm. Let's do the kinematic positioning mode. Okay, let's set the options for kinematic positioning mode. So we need to choose kinematic mode. Both frequency will be used with forward filter type, with 15 degree elevation mask. Uh, both receiver dynamics and tight correction off, ionosphere correction and troposphere correction off, and satellite broadcast satellite of image will be used. Uh, okay, in a position tab, well, I will use coordinate of basis distance, which is uh, from right next header position. And okay, so uh, mm, this is the rover observation data. This is the base observation data, and this is the navigation data, uh, and the, and this is the solution file. Let's execute this. Okay, 18 hours, 19 hours, 20 hours, data of 21 and 22 hours, 23 hours. Mm, okay. Mm. Uh, we got the solution uh, after kind of positioning mode. Let's view the solution file. And this is the solution file. We got the uh, position after kinematic positioning. Q equals to one minutes. We got the fixed solutions. Let's close this and let's view the plot. And this is the plot uh, after kinematic positioning. And okay. So again, uh, this is the variation in east-west. Very small variation compared to earlier DGPS or SPP. And we can see the precision is 2 mm in east west and in a north south direction the precision is a 9 mm and in up down component the precision is 6 mm which is highly a uh, precise position so in a millimeter level we got the position of a rover station at, at the millimeter level of ratio and the position is uh, given here okay uh, this is the result of uh, kinematic positioning mode performed in article leave and the accuracy is at uh, millimeter level uh, okay